Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the art of alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and I have an autoimmune condition called alopecia universalis. Basically what that means is my immune system mistakenly attacks my hair follicles and that is why I am completely bald and balding throughout my body. And on this YouTube channel we talk all about hair loss. We primarily do wig reviews. <laughs> I have done some tips, tricks, tutorials, Q and A's in the past, all of that fun stuff. I'm also very active on two other social media platforms. I have my Instagram and my TikTok, and I also have an Art of Alopecia Gmail account that you can email me if you don't necessarily feel comfortable reaching out to me via social media. So if you have any questions or in need of support, I would be happy to get in contact with you. So feel free to email me or reach out to me via social media. I try to make myself as accessible as possible. I love helping people out whenever they have questions or in need of support. So feel free to reach out. But I hope you guys are all doing well and thriving in life. I'm so sorry that it's been a few weeks. It's been a hectic few weeks, but I'm back now. I just got back from two vacations, so I am just out here living my best life. I went to a gorgeous island in the Caribbean, a French island. It's called Martinique. It was stunning. I went with my extended family on my mom's side. We were supposed to go in 2019, and now we have officially been able to go. It was it was a wonderful vacation. And then a few weeks later, I hopped on another plane with my two best friends and we went to Putacana to an all-inclusive, which was a whole lot of fun. I'm so glad that I was able to actually travel again. It's been so long. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. As you can probably already tell by the title of this video, I will be doing yet another wig review. So if you guys want to see a second review that I've done by Hair VV, keep watching. Okay guys, let's get started. So as I already said, this is my second review for Hair VV. I did one a few months ago on, I believe it was called the Vivian unit. It was like this gorgeous blonde balayage with like a silver undertone. It was stunning. Be sure to go check that out. I will maybe like put it right here if I can figure out how to do that or I will list it down below for you guys to watch. But Hair Beauty has kindly reached out to me again to do another wig review. So I'm very excited. Today I'm going to be reviewing their BB unit and let me tell you, it is so stunning. It is beautifully long and it is so delicious. I never use that word, but once I show you the wig, you will know exactly what I mean. So I have my iPad in front of me for all of the specs. First, I'm going to start by doing a little unboxing. As you guys know, if you've watched my videos before, I like to do a little unboxing and a little review of the storage or a review of the box because that's very important to me. Anyway, this is the box. It came with a cute little ribbon and a little bow. Very sturdy box, um, very great for storage. Nothing too special. It came in a bag wrapped around with the netting and also the tissue paper so there's nothing else in there which is totally fine because the wig makes up for it but yeah that is the box very great and get damaged in, in the mail which I'm very happy about and as I always say in all of my videos when you're investing in a high quality product you want to make sure that you have good means to store your wigs because when it's not on your head you want to make sure that it's protected so boxes are great for storage when they are good sturdy boxes so hair baby you guys are doing something right with your boxes <laughs> Okay, let's get started with these specs. I'm gonna first show you this wig because I'm so excited to show it to you. So introducing Miss BB. She just never stops. She is so long. She was curled, but the curls have died down just a bit. So I will have to recurl her. How stunning, oh my goodness. She is a lace front, like look at this color. I am just, I'm obsessed. This is what I mean by delicious. Like it actually looks like melted chocolate. I don't know if that's a weird thing to say, but I'm gonna go with it. It is so, so stunning. So let's get on to the specs. So unfortunately this wig is currently sold out, but I'm really hoping that they will come back 
in stock because I want you guys all to experience BB because she's wonderful. But also, side note, I'll probably say this throughout the video, Hair VV is such an incredible option for quality wigs that are affordable for my budget-friendly queens who are looking for a wig but on a budget. Um, so I would highly recommend doing so because this wig is like $741, $741 Canadian, which is like crazy to me because the length, the softness. Anyway, I'm gonna get into it. So let's get into the specs. So as I said, her name is BB. She is a brown and blonde wig, human hair, bleached and plucked. Oh, I'm just reading the title. Let's get into the actual specs. That might be helpful when breaking it down. So the hair type, she is a 100% virgin human hair, which is wild to me for this price. Like, take advantage, take advantage. Um, so her hairline, she has a deep pre-plucked hairline. Um, so when I put her on, you guys will notice that she is a little bit more thin than your normal lace front, but some people really like a, um, a thin lace front. It really depends on personal preference if you want like a little bit more uh, density like in the hairline or if you want just like something very soft and thin. I will show you and I will explain it to you when I put it on. The lace type is Invisible HD Swiss Lace, so it should be transparent on your skin. She is a 13 by 6 frontal lace, so she doesn't have any ear tabs, so she is lace to lace. She can be worn glueless, but as I always say in all of my videos, the more that you wear lace, since it is such a delicate material, it does start to curl. So there will come a time where you do have to use some tape or some adhesive just to glue down those little curled up pieces. I don't think there's any other specs. Let me show you the cap construction. So you can part her wherever you would like. She is machine wefted at the back. She comes with combs on both sides and a big one at the back. She has adjustment straps here and she also has a resistance band. And y'all know that I love my resistance band because these are so secure on your head. Like whenever a wig has a resistance band, the wig is not going anywhere. So for all the wig companies out there who aren't using resistance band, you need to because this is your ticket to winning the game but yeah i have not cut the lace yet and for those who don't have hair like me you can easily take out these combs they're not hard to do but let's throw her on oh my goodness guys i'm so sorry i literally forgot to mention the two most important specs of them all so the length queens she is 20 inches long <laughs> She goes like past the bottom of my back, like not touching my butt, but like slightly above. Like I am very short, so this is a very long wig on me. And she is 180% in density, so that would be considered a higher, thicker density. So just so you know, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this, these highlights. Like stunning okay let's throw her on so first we are going to adjust her accordingly so i'm just going to adjust these little straps at the back and then i'm going to throw her on by putting on the resistance band first and foremost Oh, also, I forgot to mention, um, they've done this really great, cool thing with the resistance band. Depending on your head size, they have different areas where you can remove them and make it tighter or you can make it um, longer. So they have like, three, they're kind of like the ones down here, but they've got three different options of where you can put them to make it tighter. But yeah, I love this because they are removable. So if one day you just decide, I want to have a resistance band, you can also take them out and it wouldn't be uncomfortable at all because there's like this really soft material. But let's throw her on. I know y'all are waiting. Okay, so resistance band on first. And then pulling back the back, flipping the hair, adjusting it accordingly. 
Also, forgive me, I have not cut the lace yet, but I will. And I'm also going to keep the lace kind of folded or else my eye eyelashes are going to get stuck in them. So I'm just gonna fold them like this. Oh, guys! Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just stand up because I need to show you how long this is on me. Like, it's literally almost half of my body. This is insane. Like I am actually, <laughs> I think this is by far one of the longest wigs I have. Either this or my Jessica wig. Oh, she is so, so stunning. Oh my goodness. And can I just mention before going any further how soft this hair is? Like, uh, how? Like how, how is this wig such an affordable price for this high quality hair and this much of it? I'm just, I'm amazed. Hey Vivi, I don't know what you all are doing, but you guys are winning right now. Like this hair is so silky smooth. It truly does feel like virgin European hair. And you can definitely tell when something is virgin versus like process. And obviously they did add a little bit of coloring and highlights. So it isn't a hundred percent virgin anymore because virgin means that the hair has not been chemically processed by any kind of coloring or bleaching so it was initially virgin and then they added some beautiful coloring which is like adding so much depth to the wig i'm just I am obsessed already. Okay, let me show you this hairline. Also, sorry, I just made a whole lot of noise with my chair. So as you guys can begin to tell, the hairline is a little bit thinner than your normal lace front, but some people are into that. So it really all depends on personal preference. There are so many different options for lace fronts, and this is definitely a thinner Thin, thinly plucked hairline. So Hair VV definitely went in with plucking it. I did do a video on how to pluck a hairline on my IGTV video. So be sure to go check that out if you are interested in learning how to pluck a lace hairline. So let me show you this. Okay, let me unwrap the lace. I do need to cut this eventually. And I do need, do need to cut in some ear tabs already. So here she is. So, so stunning. I love how it's not just like straight. It actually creates the illusion of a natural hairline with all of these little swoops, which is something I love to see. So gorgeous. I'll show you the other side. The way that they created this wig, they literally must have tied the knots in so straight to create whatever this is. Because it's like, it does create the illusion that your hair is growing out of your scalp. It just, it's amazing. It is absolutely so, so, so stunning. And also, it is a front lace, so you can part it wherever you'd like. You don't have to keep the middle part if you don't want to. You can part it wherever you'd like. You just have to train the hair to go where you want to go with some water and just some natural drying. I genuinely just can't get over how soft this, this wig is. It's just absolutely so, so stunning. Like, how do they do it? Knowing the price of this, I am amazed. Like there's so much that you'd be able to do with this wig because of how long it is and how much hair you're working with. Damn, really the only thing that you're kind of limited to is you can't put it up into a high pony just due to the cap construction of it being a wefted back um, with the back at, um, I don't know what this is called. The thing, the thing at the very end of the wig sits just above your neck. Guys, I just like, I, I am, I am so, I'm amazed. I am so, so amazed. But if you wanted something that you wanted to put in a high pony, you would have to get a full lace, but you can part it wherever you'd like. I don't know if I've already said that. You can curl it, you can straighten it, you can put hot rollers in it, you can use all kinds of heat 
Cuban hairs are amazing because you can just like pretend that it's your own hair so you can do whatever you want with it but also side note you should always protect it as if it was your own so if you're using any kind of heat use that heat protectant make sure that you're using um, high quality shampoo and conditioner but guys oh my goodness so as for the cap the cap size this is a small cap i believe it's 21.5 inches in circumference they also come in a medium which is 22.5. 21.5 is a little bit more on the average medium cap size. So it is quite big for me, unfortunately, because I have a peanut size head. My head circumference is like 19 to 20. So just be aware of that for my small headed queens. This is a little bit big, but it's not overly big. It does feel quite heavy, but that is just because it is a high density. You can get other wigs through Hair Beauty that aren't as high in density. And it's just because I am a very short person. <laughs> so this much hair, it's a lot. But the cap construction is pretty basic for a front lace. You have this, this much space to style it. So if you wanted to do like cute little braids, you'd have to stop them like right here where the wefts start. You can still do a lot of styling with that. But as I was saying before, the cap construction is pretty basic. So for me, these cap constructions are quite, they're quite breathable for the summer and also very comfortable for a long time wears. And I have sensitive scalp, so I haven't had an issue with the wefted caps before. And not to mention this lace is like beautifully transparent on my skin. Like if you were to hide the lace, it is so transparent. The knots are in fact bleached. I love a good bleach knot. I bleach knots, like I've, I've mentioned this before in my videos, I love having bleach knots, but that's because I do have, I'm fortunate enough to have so many different wigs to wear, so I can extend their lifetime. But once you do bleach the knots, it doesn't last as long, um, just because you're kind of altering the lace's ability to hold on to the hair so the hair starts to kind of fall out sooner and it makes the hair weaker around the hairline so just a side note just so you know um bleaching the knots does make it really really realistic for some people it is worth it um for that extra layer of realism but for those who are wanting their lace fronts or their full laces to last um, then just know that bleaching the knots, it might kind of alter that lifetime for that. At this point, I'm kind of just mumbling. I am just so upset. Like, I cannot wait to do like a half up, half down look. Guys, I'm so excited. Also, I really need to cut this lace because it is crazy and I need to fix the resistance band to make it a little bit more snug on my head. So as I said, it is quite big, but not overly to the point that it's like falling off my head. The resistance band is doing its job. I'm so excited to curl it again. Oh my goodness. I am just, <laughs> I am so, 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 so obsessed with this wig. I'm obsessed with the price. I'm obsessed with the quality of hair for the price. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It just comes down to personal preference if you want kind of a more plucked hairline than usual. I would highly recommend. I don't think it bothers me at all. But I think that is it for today's video, guys. Like, I am just, I am, I'm blown away. I truly am so blown away and I'm not gonna repeat myself because I just keep repeating myself. Steps on making it look a little bit more natural. I would highly recommend going to get a perfect or going to see a professional um, to get some layers cut into it um, because like it's just not realistic to have your hair all at one length. So I would highly recommend doing that. And then obviously cutting the lace and cutting in your ear tabs so that hairline is nice and silky smooth and so you don't have that excess piece of lace near the ear tabs. So those are my really only steps on making it look more natural. 
But yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I would highly, highly recommend going to check out Hair VV. I mean, come on. I'm gonna say it again. I don't understand how this wig can be so high quality for the price that it is. I am just ah, so amazed. I love when I find these little gems and I can share it with you guys because I know how expensive wigs can be. And I'm just like, my favorite part of the day is just receiving your guys' messages thanking me for helping you guys. It truly makes me feel so happy and I'm so glad that I can do this because for the longest time when I started wearing wigs, I had no idea, I had no support, I didn't, I wasn't on social media. I mean, social media wasn't really a thing. Like, I mean, YouTube was the thing, but I just never thought to look on YouTube for reviews. So I'm so happy that I can help you guys find your perfect wigs and I can help people prevent all of the mistakes that I went through because boy, did my parents just waste so much money on crappy wigs but now the wigs are just amazing and they're high quality and they're affordable like this is an affordable human hair wig <sighs> calm down Marcy calm down <laughs> but I do have a discount code for you guys to use if you guys are interested so use this code at checkout to receive a discount off your entire order but that is it for today's video guys i'm gonna stop talking now but i will see you next time on the art of alopecia bye guys thank you so much for watching